Last night, I pushed up to top 300 in the entire world with this golem deck right here, the Evil Bomber, Evil Skellies. But we're going to be using it in the Double Evolution Global Tournament. We got the same deck, and we might switch to a different one with Phoenix and Fisherman. I think there's going to be a lot of Giant decks, but also I've been having success against Giant decks with this deck here. So we're just going to run it and see how things go. All right, we got twice. Good luck to you, sir. And I think what I'm going to do is if I lose two, I'm going to end it there. But I don't think I'm going to cut out the games either. I just want to show you guys the raw experience when it comes to this. I was going to live stream this, but um, I don't I don't really have time to do that at the moment. All right, ability. It's a little late, but... Like, I, I wonder why I was late. Maybe this guy is halfway across the world or something. Alright, we pull the Mega Knight over. We gotta arrow this. This guy is just spamming, spamming, spamming. He's got Mega Knight and Witch in it. Now, this could be a little bit of trouble for us, but... I feel like I could go Golem because he spent so much elixir. And we have a. Like, what I really like about this is that it's really cheap. And. Oh. And you can get wrecked by a minion horde. This guy has a, a very expensive deck. And somehow he's getting away with just spamming. Now, I think right here, I'm just going to Lightning onto this Witch. Wow, yeah, his deck is really expensive. But, you know, I think when Double Elixir comes around, we'll be in a better position. I'm just going to arrow this. He's probably going to go Mega Knight, like, other lane. I'm just going to go Night Witch in preparation for it. Okay, we're actually just going to pull that. I'm just going to get Void down on these Mega Minions. We're just going to Void. I mean, Lightning there. Bats, please take out that... That Mini P.E.K.K.A. Okay, Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s out. Let's just pop LP ability here. Guarding takes out the firecracker. Pouring this firecracker on his, his end. And there's no way that he's going to win this. There, there really is zero chance this guy wins this game right now. Alright. I'm going to arrow and then void onto this. Which takes it out. Golem's going to get to the tower. Ooh, that Valk might be a little bit of trouble. Here, let's Lightning. Golemite's on the tower. Should be enough. If not, we will be okay. Just go Evo Skellies and then Arrows. Easy dub. I'm not sure why he didn't go Mega Knight again. Like, I feel like if he went, like, kept spamming Mega Knight and Minion Horde, he would have been a little bit better. But we got the first dub. Let's keep it going. We got another Golem Banner. This could be Golem deck, who knows. I've been having a lot of success with just cycling my Skeletons and Bomber. Like, no matter what my opponent plays. It's just kind of like really brainless and really easy to just cycle your Evos first. Okay, I'm going to Lightning this. I thought we would get the Bomber there too, but we don't, which it's okay. He has, like, so far people are running Princess Tower, which I'm pretty sure you're allowed to use any of the Tower Troops. So I'm not really sure, like, why people are running the worst Tower Troop. I don't know. What, like, do any of you guys run the Princess Tower, even though you have the option to use Dagger Duchess? Okay, then we just get another Mega Knight in the back. So, see, Mega Knight is so easy to counter with Golem because 
All you have to do is just go golem same lane, and then you can get your Night Witch, and, like, the Mega Knight, like, it's not going to take out the golem super easily. So your Night Witch and Bats are going to be able to take their time and just shred the Mega Knight. And, like, whatever else he has is also just going to get shredded. Yeah, this is, this is looking like a pretty easy W for us here. We just void onto this wizard. And it's done. We just pop LP ability. He logs. I'm going to go with Evo Skellies. Oh, no. Two of them got hit. Uh, It wouldn't really matter because he went with the Evo Bomber, but... As long as he doesn't, like, go anything in front. Oh, he does. Okay. We just got an arrow. But overall, Hog's gonna get one hit. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Where is it? What are with these weird decks, man? Let's go Night Witch here. Just gonna go Golem. Just goes Mega Knight in the back. That's not gonna help you at all. We're just gonna Lightning onto this Wizard and Mega Knight. And that's going to be tower. I'm just going to go skeletons to cycle. Also, let's just go arrows too. We're just going Nightwitch opposite lane in case he tries to do something. But um, Golem in the pocket. There's not much you can do about that. Let's just try and get the three crown because I'm pretty sure three crowns are worth a lot more. Yeah. So I think the way that crowns work in this is like you get crowns for keeping your towers. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, so if you defend your towers, you get three crowns. If you destroy all three, you get another three. And destroy one, you get one. So let's go. We got two dubs already. Let's make it three. We got Saunal. Good luck to you. Just cycle skeletons first play. I also genuinely don't think it's bad to go golem first play with this deck. Um, I'm going to right now. This goes firecracker. I'm going to go void onto this. Oh, void doesn't get the LP, but he's so low. He already popped ability. Can he defend this? Witch. What, what is with people using Witch and Princess Tower? I don't get it, guys. I'm going to pop ability here. Guardian on the Witch. Let's go. That's what I want. Tower down. Knight's not focused on the LP. He uses Log. LP's going to connect. Let's get a Bomber in case he goes anything to get the LP. LP should lock on. Get a couple hits. Our Bomber takes out the firecracker what a terrible firecracker uh i'm just gonna go golem and if he does anything like a hog rider like i'm guessing he has hog rider no he's just gonna leak elixir he just give up or something no he's just waiting Not a great idea, buddy. You never want to wait to defend when it comes to Golem. Yeah, we're going to get another 3 crown pretty easily. Let's just pop LP ability and get arrows down onto that Evo. Let's void onto the LP. And that's going to be tower. He LP's ability like really late, but it doesn't really matter. Another easy three crowns. It's actually six, so we're we're at sixteen crowns right now in three games. Let's see where people are at with top fifty. That's twenty six wins. Wow. Okay. Twenty six wins is what we need to get up there. Got Parsa. Tonight, I will be streaming on my other account, pushing the same tournament. And 
for some reason, like, when you have a second account, it's a lot easier to push with, like, an alt account than it is on a main account. Like, the games and the enemies are just, like, way harder. So, like, when you see people, like, do really good in tournaments, they usually don't have their main account, and it's usually, like, a second account they have. I'm just gonna go arrows onto that. Let's go Skeletons, Bomber. We're just going to trade towers here, pretty much. Like, I could have defended that Mire with, like, a Void, but other than that, like, he still would have gotten a ton of damage. But yeah, we're easily going to trade. And I'm just going to let that go, too. He could probably do Minor Balloon again. If he goes Balloon, he'll probably do it in a pocket, and Void will actually take it out. Like, I don't really think he has a good defense for my golem push. So that's why, like, I ignored it. Also, I'm just going to void onto this Inferno Dragon. Yeah, he doesn't even block it, so it's just taken out. I'm also going to keep arrowing onto the barbs. They're genuinely so weak. Nightwitch on the tower with the bats. One more hit. Nope. Alright, we got double elixir coming up. I feel like I'm just going to go LP in the back here. Because I feel like he's going to try and minor loon. Oh, he has Lava Hound. Okay, we're going opposite lane with Nightwitch Golem. I might even just pocket the Golem here to be a little aggressive. Yeah, and I'm going to Void on top of these. Okay. And then we're going to Arrow as well. Everything's taken out. I'm going to Night Witch here. I'm going to Evo Skellies. He uses Evo Zap. But does he have a response to the Skelly? Oh, he, he does. Okay, so looks like we're going to trade. I'm okay with that because I know we'll be fine. Yeah, LP is just going to clean up everything. I'm going to Skeletons this miner he zaps but we're gonna be fine i'm just gonna go golem here he already uses evo barbs we just go void onto this let's go night witch in the back here let's just go bomber for these barbs shreds them they're gone let's just go lp Golem on the tower. Yeah, that's game. We lightning. Evo bomber. Shreds. Let's go. Let's go. Alright. We're flying through these games. So, yeah, we got... Four crowns for that. Let's see. Any of my friends. Where are they at? We got... Mini CB at 18. Alright. Apologize for the barking. Um, I wish my parents would uh, train the dogs, but I think they're far too gone. Some of them are, one's like 14, the other's like 10 and 7. Like, I don't know if you can train dogs that late in life. And the young one that barks a lot is in training, but she is just not doing well with the training either. Why is everyone running Princess Tower? Literally everyone I've played so far is running Princess Tower. I don't get it. I really don't. So, we got Night Witch, we got Golem coming up. He goes Lava Hound. That's like the worst spot to put a Lava Hound. Like, this is how you know this guy does not know how to play Lava Hound. Because any real Lava Hound player would always put it on the other side. 
I'm gonna void on top of all of this right here. Bats are gonna shred everything else. We got one bat surviving. Use snowball. We're just gonna go skeletons here. Double elixir's coming up, so we're just gonna keep keep going with Night Witch Golem. He uses his Tesla. Yeah, by the time our golem gets there, it should even run out. We're gonna place our golem low, not at the bridge. Give us time to get more elixir. But yeah, there's really no way it's gonna counter us. We're just gonna go arrows and void. Okay, I mean he has the evil Valk, but we're just gonna lightning this. Evil Valk's already shredded. I'm just gonna go in with the skellies. Maybe they'll get there? No. Unfortunate. But th there's literally no way he's gonna win. He's He can't handle my pushes. We're just gonna go void again. And arrows. Oh, I I kind of didn't realize he had void. Okay, this could be um this could be really bad actually. We might have just lost the game, guys. All right. What I'm going to do is switch over to a different deck. Because that was embarrassing. Um, so this with... We don't have lighting. We just have Fisherman. Wow, I really... I don't know. Oh, wait, no, 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 not UC. Alright, we switched decks because I lost to Lava Hound, and, uh, you know, that deck that I was using, it's pretty good for Ultimate Champion, but I was kind of underestimating my opponent. Kind of got wrecked by Lava Hound. I didn't realize that I didn't have arrows in cycle. Why is everyone using Witch? Why? Like, who told these people to use Witch? Also, that guy just wasted a firecracker. Zap's not gonna help you there, buddy. And he goes to Mega Knight. Why? Everyone's using Witch and Mega Knight. Like, you can use any card in the game. Like, good on you for using Dagger Duchess, but you literally chose to use. Mega Knight and Witch. Which are just like the worst, some of the worst cards in the game. Like from a competitive standpoint, they are the, some of the worst cards to use. Like you can catch some opponents off guard, but majority of the time, like, the meta does not support those cards, unless you're, like, using some, like, really 
Beatty deck. But like... Like, what the hell? I don't get it. We're just gonna easily defend right here. I mean, I could have probably popped ability, but it does not even matter. I'm just going to go golem right here. Distracts the firecracker enough. Bats are going to take it out. He has done zero damage to my tower. Let's get those crowns. All right, let's keep it going. We're five and one so far. Kind of really disappointed that I did lose that one game, but I feel like uh, it kind of taught me to realize that I need a little bit more air defense when it comes to my deck for this tournament. And Phoenix is definitely going to be needed here. This guy just went Hog Rider, like, Earthquake first play. Like, okay, buddy. I'm just going to void on that Firecracker. Tries to block it. Doesn't work. Let's go Fisherman. I'm just going to zap onto this. I don't think that Firecracker is really going to... Oh, okay. You know, sometimes I underestimate the Firecracker. The one downside to this deck is you don't have arrows, but... I think the Phoenix really does make up for it. As long as you're, like, focusing on countering the Firecracker, like, in other ways other than just using a spell. Like, most of the time you can get a nice King activation with it. Okay, he just goes with the Bomb Tower now. LP's gonna lock onto the tower? Okay, I'm just going to go Night Witch here. And then we could just go Golem at the bridge. He's not going to have his Bomb Tower in Cycle. Zap the Firecracker. I missed. That didn't happen, guys. That did not happen. Alright, we're just gonna go Evo Bomber. We'll take out that. Easy defense. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, we're now 6-1. and one. Go Whaley. Princess Tower. Guys, if you're doing this tournament, stop using Princess Tower. Even if you don't use the Dagger Duchess at all, don't use the Princess Tower. Just don't. Just stop using it. Like, with this tournament, you're able to use whatever. Like, please, guys, do yourself a favor. Use the best tower troop in the game while you can before it gets nerfed. Also, use, use Void. Like, no matter what you're playing, you should be using at least those two cards with your decks. Like, no matter what you're using. I'm just gonna go Golem. I don't, like, so far, Mega Minions, Archers, it's not looking too threatening. I was guessing Giant, but... Probably isn't going to be able to get a good push going yet. I think I'm going to zap onto this little prince right here. I'm going to get my LP just in case he has a graveyard giant. I'm going to go void onto the tower and the LP. He'll take it out. Phoenix going to get that knight. Yeah, I really do miss arrows. 
uh, with what's on my screen right now. I'm going to pop LP ability. We'll take out those archers. He's got to respond to this. He has to go knight. Let's just go knight witch into that. He might go giant, but we got our fisherman. Actually, he just goes LP. I'll just go fisherman anyway. We'll pull that LP across. He pops LP ability. It's just like a waste. Like, it doesn't do you any good. It really doesn't. I'm just going to go golem in the back. Alright, I'm just going to void onto these archers. They get taken out super easily. We're going to zap right now. He just spams another giant. I'm just going to keep stacking my phoenixes. Let's just keep voiding right here. I'm just going to evo zap on all that. Phoenix respawn. Let's go. I'm going to pop LP ability. Yeah, I really don't see him defending this. Oh, I'm just going to go void. Zap as well. I'm going to go Evil Bomber. He's probably not going to react in time to defend anything. Yeah, easy. Alright, we're now 7-1. and one. Not bad. Alright. Just going to go Zap first play. He goes Giant in the back. Alright, we'll just go Bomber. We'll also just go Night Witch into it. I will also get my phoenix down. I knew he was going to arrow. Just had a feeling. I'm going to go golem. He doesn't have his giant back already. So he can't really like do anything with this. Yeah, like, he can try. But. Like, he might have fishermen. If he doesn't, we're fine. Void on that bowler. Bomber gets a hit. Fisherman's gonna take out that bowler. Let's go. I'm just gonna go LP onto this. Pop LP ability. We got the knight. Not bad. I'll take it. Guardian might get one hit. Nope. But he doesn't have fishermen in this deck, so it should be pretty easy to to deal with here. And we'll probably, like, we could honestly just get our Evo Bomber onto the the tower here. He's going to arrow, but I don't think he's going to react in time. He lightnings? That's terrible. <laughs> now he has no response to the fisherman. I'm going to void onto this li uh, little prince here. I'm just going to get a bomber to destroy. Uh... I thought I was going to get one to distract. <laughs> Just going to go gold at the bridge. I'm going to go another fisherman here. Evo zap onto this Evo bomber. I'm just going to void onto both the bowler and the little prince. Terrible LP ability. Like, what is that, man? <laughs> what was that, bro? <laughs> that was so bad. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next game. Alright, we're 8-1 and one now. We got Gwyn. Just gonna cycle my bomber. Goes Mortar, Giant Skelly, at the bridge. 
I'm just gonna void onto the mortar. Giant skill is gonna get taken out. Now, I've seen a deck like this, and it has Hog Rider as well, so I won't be surprised if I see a random Hog Rider just come down the lane right now. I'm just going to go Golem in the back. Goes Phoenix, Phoenix Ice Spirit. I don't really think that's a good play, but we'll see. Fisherman's going to be nice to pull that Giant Skelly away. Either way, I don't think this is going to be too much of an issue to deal with. I'm just going to go Phoenix as well. Let's just zap on the LP. So he has two buildings. Like, so mortar is your win condition. So it's just mortar. That's all this is. You don't have Hog Rider. I'm going to go Golem. We're just going to go... Oh, he has Fisherman? Oh, Lord. Okay. So, this might be... This might be an issue. Maybe not. We'll see. This could be my second loss here. We're going to void onto this LP. He pops ability. We just go with our bomber. Does he have arrows? He has void. But now which is going to stay alive. We're just going to go Phoenix and our little prince. Now which gets a smack on the tower. I'm just going to zap and void onto this LP. Let's pop LP ability. We get it. He's got to go more. I'm going to go with that opposite lane to distract. Oh, he goes Fisherman. Our bomber hits it, though. Bat is nibbling away at the mortar. Perfect. I'm going to go Phoenix in the back. And then we're just going to go Golem. And then we can Evo Zap. And Void onto his Fisherman. Okay, he doesn't even do it. I'm just going to get a void onto the LP in Tesla. He stacked up two giant skeletons. I'm just going to Evo Zap onto this. I'm going to get a fisherman down for that mortar. He goes with a fisherman. I'm going to go with the golem right now. Also going to go with Phoenix. Let's go with an LP right here. Void onto this. Let's zap it. Pops ability. I think that's game over for him. Pretty much, at least. Let's just do that. We're gonna get... Oh, his fisherman doesn't even pull anything. Yeah, this is, uh, this is annoying. But I think we got it. I think we just play defense here. Void onto the mortar. Zap. Phoenix gets the egg. I'm just gonna fisherman. Get my ability. Let's get evil bomber over here. Let's zap onto the tower. Evil bomber hits. Let's go. Alright guys, I've given you a couple of golem decks to work with. I think I'm going to be sticking with this one for the rest of the tournament. Maybe I'll go back to the other one and just add Phoenix. Uh, who knows? But 
hope you guys enjoyed the video and good luck with the tournament join my tiktok tonight i'll be pushing the rest on there on this account and my other one so it should be a lot of fun peace out